John 14.6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Have you ever wondered what it means for Jesus to call himself the life? Let's take a deeper look into that to learn more about why he said that and what it means. John 1, 1 through 5 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Verse 14 And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus is the very word who both was with God and also was God himself. In him is life. He is the very source and essence of life. Jesus said in John five twenty four through 27 Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my words, and believeth on him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. It's the Father who gave it to Jesus to have life in himself. You and I have life only because God chose to create us and give us life. He chose to keep us alive in this world only for a time, but because of the corruption of sin, our bodies will die. We don't have life in and of ourselves. We cannot sustain life apart from God's will to keep us alive. God alone has the ability to sustain his life and existence without any help from any other source, because he is the source. Jesus is God in flesh, the Son of God, and has life in himself because of who he is. John 11:25 through 26 Jesus said unto her I am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die believest thou this Jesus is the source of life and as such he also has the power to restore life that has been lost therefore he is not only life itself but he is also the resurrection. Resurrection, the power to come back from the dead, cannot exist apart from him. There are people who think they can restore life by freezing a dead body and later thawing it and reviving it. This will not work. The brain may be preserved, but the soul has departed from the body, and no science can restore a soul. Only God can do that. The Bible does speak of false signs and deceiving wonders that will take place in the end times. If a devil takes up residence in one of these frozen bodies, then it will appear to have worked. But the original soul cannot be called back from the dead by anything less than the very one who is the resurrection and the life, or by the authority of his name given to his believers. That is Jesus. Acts 2.24 Whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. The one who himself is life cannot be held by death any longer than he chooses to allow it. That's why Jesus rose from the dead on the third day. 1 Corinthians 15.45 And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. The last Adam here is Jesus. If you read the whole chapter, that will be obvious. 
Jesus is a quickening spirit. That means that he gives life. He revives and raises the dead. Ephesians 2 1 says, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Sin is the thing that kills us. But Jesus saves us from sin and gives us new and eternal life in heaven with him, in his glory. We cannot even begin to imagine what that will be like. Isaiah 43, 10-13 Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant, whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved, and I have showed, when there was no strange God among you. Therefore ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. Yea, before the day was, I am he, and there is none that can deliver out of my hand. I will work, and who shall let it? There was no God before him, and there will be none after him. People are not gods. God alone has all power, and he alone is self-sustaining and self-existent. There is no other Savior besides him, because no one else has the power to save as he does. Nor can anyone thwart his will. No matter what we do or think, his ultimate plans will be accomplished. I believe we have free will, but his plans will stand regardless of that. He is not so weak as to be thwarted by the free will he himself chose to give us. Revelation 1.8 I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Jesus has no beginning, because he is the beginning, and he will have no end, because he is the end as well. He is the source of all that is, and he will continue to exist without end. He has chosen to give us the opportunity to exist without end with him in his glory and perfect and eternal joy. That all starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it and turning to Jesus for forgiveness and salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will, so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you have ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you have life through Jesus.